So I just woke up, um, it's about 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm about to go to Starbucks and study. That's where I've been doing most of my studying. I do some studying here at home, but majority at uh, Starbucks. And I figured that was best for me because um, sometimes I get distracted at home and I study better when I'm outside of my normal surroundings. So. For you guys, whatever location is best for you, whether that's home, library, um, at a friend's house, wherever you feel more efficient in your studies, I say I would say do that. So this is completely opposite of medical school where I needed to study at home because I couldn't study in the library. So it all changes. It may change throughout your uh, training where you feel you study best. But for me today, um, going to Starbucks. So in 72 hours, I take my exam. I just received an email from the testing center reminding me to bring my ID and also my scheduling permits. And yeah, 72 hours. Never feel kind of overly prepared going into the exam like you're studying for a test like in medical school or test in college just because there's so much information to know. You know, we first started studying five years ago for this as interns, and this test will go over five years worth of uh, material. Anything from anatomy to surgical approaches to complications that you find in surgery, pathology, histology, there is some um, exercise science on there. I was doing some questions the other day about glycogen and phosphorylation, biochemistry, glycolysis, all that stuff kind of <laughs> comes back and uh, hunts you again. But yeah, so the next 72 hours, I'll be doing probably eight to 10 hours a day studying. The rest of the time, just you know, relaxing, clearing my head, and also working out. That's really important as well. On the last day for the before the exam, I usually drive to the testing center. I'm here in Dallas, so I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna drive to it, go in it, look at the you know where the lockers are, where the bathroom is, what I can and cannot bring. Talk to the testing site administrators and say, hey, what's the earliest I can show up? Because if it's a nine-hour exam and I, if I can start at seven, you know that's better than getting there at nine, where most people are arriving and um, you don't actually start your test till 30, 45 minutes later because everyone else is checking in. So, you know, another ritual that I have is to get a haircut before. So I, I always feel like, uh, <laughs> that kind of clears my head and, and before any major exam, I always get a haircut before the test day. So I drive to check out the testing center, I get a haircut and I usually take a light day the night before. So I'm not up till 12, one o'clock in the morning for these big exams, nine, 10 hour exams. I usually do some light reading, reviewing throughout the day and just relaxing, maybe watch a movie and have new, uh, the TV in the background. But uh, yeah, it's not a full day of just, you know, going at it with the uh, book. So what are some of your kind of pre-exam rituals? Put them in the uh, comments below. So we'll see you soon. last few days are kind of going over my weak areas or things that I think uh, I don't just understand just yet or maybe I have forgotten. So uh, doing lots of questions, doing lots of, if there's a concept that comes up or a certain surgery or a certain procedure or something comes up and I just don't quite understand it, uh, to these last few days are when I usually try to understand it and 
take the time if it takes me 30 minutes to review a concept and I think that's something that's important for the exam that's what I'm going to be doing so it's around 9 a.m. I will probably be here I don't know maybe to 5 or 6 p.m. and then hit the gym and relax after that little light reading this, uh, this evening so yeah So I just got done studying here at Starbucks. It is around 6 p.m. Um, I was pretty efficient throughout the day today. I felt that I got a lot accomplished, went over some weak areas, kind of reviewed some stuff that um, I've been making on these documents that I have. And yeah, a little bit exhausted now, studying for you know almost eight hours. Every 50 minutes or so, I take like a five to 10 minute break and and uh, just walked around. I actually switched spots, went to another spot after a number of hours. So if you are studying and you feel like you're not getting anything accomplished in that particular location, switch locations, drive to somewhere else, go to another library, go to another Starbucks, another coffee shop, and see if that helps. So I'm about to head home, grab some dinner, and get back to the books for another couple hours. See you soon. All right, so it is 48 hours before I take my exam. It's about 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm about to go study at Starbucks again. Um, yesterday I was there for about eight hours or so, and I plan to probably put in the same amount of hours today. So today is similar to yesterday, just kind of reviewing some areas that I feel like I need to go over and just refreshing up on some areas that I think are important for the exam. I do have a kind of a document that is it's about 120 pages, but it has histological slides. It has imaging, certain images that I think are important, like MRI scan or a cut of a CT scan, x-rays of different things, different fractures that I think are important for the exam. It has mnemonics, it has you know translocations that I need to know, med different medications that I need to know. So, and that has been one of the biggest improvements in my academic progression is that document. Because if I would have done this, you know, in med school or and for my in training exams for for during residency, I, man, I would have did way better than I did. So. I'm just going through this this document. I'm just, I'm just like, wow, this is money, you know. Otherwise, I would probably not have went over this information again before the exam because there's so much information. But um, I'll try to go over that that document with you guys. But essentially, it's a document that has everything that I think is important for the exam and things that I think I will forget. All these small kind of gene defects, uh, the translocations, the medication me mechanisms of action. All of that in this document, and I think it's, it's freaking money. You guys should definitely try it. So, yeah, about to head to Starbucks and uh, get it in for the day. 48 hours to go. All right, so I just got to the area where Starbucks is. About to walk in and uh, get to the grind. So I'm currently here in Starbucks. Uh, sorry for the uh, loud noise, but uh, just taking a break. I've been here for about four hours, almost five hours now, and uh, about every 50 minutes I'm taking a break and walking outside or getting up and using the bathroom or something like that, so um, I'm going to be here for a few more hours and then I'm going to head home, get some dinner, and then uh, do some more studying, so. Alright, so it is about 24 hours before my exam. I am about to go get my hair cut today. As I mentioned before, that's one of my kind of uh, pre-test rituals before any kind of big big exam like the MCAT, step one, step two, step three. I always get a haircut the day before. I always kind of have a more kind of, um, not necessarily a relaxed day, just a day that I am not going hard, like studying 14, 15, 16 hours. You know, I will probably study, you know, four or five hours today compared to yesterday where I studied maybe 10 hours. 
I also will drive to the testing center today to check out the testing center. It's about 25 minutes from where I'm at. So I'll drive there, I'll go inside, I'll talk to the, the proctors and ask them, hey, can I wear this hoodie tomorrow? Or can I, uh, where are the bathrooms at? Can I do this? What do I need to bring tomorrow? And just see where the lockers are, see where everything is. So I know exactly what my route is um, in the morning. So yeah, that's what my day is consistent of today. All right, so first stop is the barber shop, and then heading out to the uh, testing center. So on the way there, it's about a 25 minute drive. So on the way there, I'm just listening to some lecture audio from the review course that is online. It's called the Cornerstone uh, MSK course. And this, this orthopedic surgeon goes over different top, topics in orthopedics. So I'm just gonna review a topic that uh, I just wanna refresh up on. So see you at the barber shop. All right, so we're just now leaving the barbershop. Got a fresh fade, looking nice, feel nice for the exam tomorrow. About to go check out the exam center. It's about another 25 minutes from where, where we're at now. So about to go in, look around, make sure I know my route for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, go back home and study after that. We'll see you soon. So I just checked out the uh, testing center. I uh, went to see where the bathroom is. They had some lockers, put my stuff. They don't have a microwave or a fridge, but I will get a little laminated piece of paper where I can write out some formulas or write out the brachial plexus and uh, whatever else that it, you know, gene defects that I want to remember for the exam. So yeah, uh, tomorrow morning, going down. So today is a big day. Today is test day. I got my game face on, I'm ready. You know, I studied for the last five years for this exam. And uh, yeah, I'm about to reap the benefits. So it's gonna be a successful day, I'm gonna do well. And I'll let you guys know how it goes uh, after I take the test. So nine hours later, I will check in with you guys uh, again. Alright, so I just finished my exam. Wow, that was an extremely, extremely hard exam. I wasn't expecting it to be that, that freaking hard. Man, I don't think if I would have studied, did my studying a little bit more or more studying would have helped any. It's just questions that were just crazy, off the wall questions. I was like, I don't even understand what you're asking. But uh, yeah, it's about 5.30. I, and I took the whole nine hours. I took a little break between a couple sections and then um, yeah, finished it. But I'm mentally, physically exhausted from testing all day. I'm about to go home and, you know, relax, get something to eat, go to sleep. I'm tired, I've been up since early this morning. Really couldn't sleep last night because of um, you know thinking about the exam and things like that, but uh, wow, that was, a, that was that was a big slap in the face. That's probably one of the most challenging exams I have taken out of, and I, I counted it. These big eight nine hour exams I've taken like eleven or twelve of them. MCAT step one, step two, two parts of step uh, two two parts of step three, you know, and five in training exams were, which were eight hours a piece. But uh, yeah, we have to wait another two months before we get our, our scores. And um, maybe I will make a reaction video to my board score. Uh, you guys stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.